Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration, Woo! Rocket, and Cross Torio 2. So, uh, this episode might be up a little bit later than usual. There has been the summertime switch over here in Germany, and usually switching time zones is not usually unified across every time zone. Uh, I believe that, that the American time zone might be lagging behind for an hour or something like that, but it should be fine, it should be fine. Let's just continue on where we left off, and we left off, well, last time around, we had a bit of a power out. We had a bit of a brownout, and we doubled down a power plant, and afterwards, after we doubled it down, it was like, hey, you know what? We should double it down again. So, we now have one ginormous 16 gigawatt nuclear power plant over here, sitting in this lovely little lake over here. And yes, it is fully operational, I think. Is there anything missing? No, it is fully operational. And I was kind of thinking about maybe making this like one big reactor block, but I kind of like the idea of having like four distinct reactor blocks over here. We would get some more efficiency if we would like put them together like this, but then we also had to get in more... Actually, I don't really think we would really need to get in more turbines and stuff like that because our reactor is running hotter than we need. But then again, we do have a sleepy reactor, which means it doesn't really matter too much. Good. Also, I haven't seen it in the comment section yet, but uh, one thing I did kind of notice, it used to be that we had like a direct connection over here of this uh, boiler and the turbine together. But of course, if the reactor is turned off, this thing over here would also turn off. So I added a steam tank over here and this steam tank will be more than enough. Trust me, uh, because currently at the moment, this turbine over here eats 0 0.2 steam per second. That is about one steam every five seconds. That is... A thousand steam every 5,000 seconds. And then, of course, it is 50,000 steam every 250,000 seconds. It'll be good for a while. <laughs> It'll be good for quite a while. If we do somehow manage to empty this thing out, I would be amazed. Uh, we also got some 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 wind turbines over here. But these over here, well, this is more the thoughts and prayers fraction over here. <laughs> uh, it... it they, they would not be able to do enough power over here to compensate that. If we would want to do that, we would need like, yeah, pretty much a hundred times more of them. A little bit more than a hundred times more of them. And to be perfectly honest, nah. Actually, you know what? Here, get rid of them. <laughs> not required anymore. Good, 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 good. But yeah, the other power plants over here now also have like a little single turbine over here with a steam tank, or no, own water pump and a little heat exchanger to the side. So that this whole internal network over here will always, always, always have power. And of course, the external network is all over here. And the external network is now sitting at a capacity of 17.4 gigawatts of power. That's a lot of gigawatts. And we are going to need a lot of gigawatts. Now, I was kind of thinking about what we're going to be doing today. And what we're not going to be doing is me setting up recipes in here. I'll do that off camera because it is really, really, really not that important. Uh, unless I maybe... <coughs> Unless I maybe find something um, special on here that has a, some kind of special and fun setup. But this over here, I'll just do that in the boring meeting and just put in the recipes and let the resources flow. And then we have everything over here. The objective is still the same. We do want to get rid of the planet side mole and move everything up into the space side mole. Even though it might just completely blow our power usage through the wall. But then again... We got a bigger nuclear power plant over here, and we got this lake over here, but this lake over there will be reserved for the fusion power plant. So, at some point in time, if we even need more power, well, the fusion power plant over there will have us covered. Good, 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 good. So, what's the plan for today? Well, we're still missing only a couple of the intermediates, and one of the intermediates that we're missing is the iridium plate, the, oh, the iridium girder, and the iridium uh, beam. No, wait, the iridium girder and the iridium bearing, or the heavy girder and the heavy bearing built. So let's focus on that. So if we go over here, uh, we want to go over to the heavy girder, and we want to go over to the heavy bearing. Both of them are required. And of course, we do also require in this build over here, uh, let's just get rid of you real quick. There we go. We also want to make some iridium plate on site because the only thing that will be coming in are iridium ingots. Good. Give you some speed so that we can see how fast you are. And then let's see how we can set this whole thing up. Let's maybe start off with the girders over here. To make a girder, we're going to need one Vulcanite block per second and four iridium plates per second. Okay. We got the crafting speed of 16. So we need 64 plates per second over here. 
This machine over here has a crafting speed of 28. Um, and then you make about, what is that? One plate per second. So if we need 64 plates, per, really 64 plates per second? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Can you run that number by me again? <laughs> I guess that is going to be how it is. Well then, you make 28 plates per second. Two of you make 56 plates per second. And then you over there, you need 64 plates per second. We could just two to one them and just go with it. We could also try to make it a little bit more accurate. Then again, this thing over here is pretty, pretty darn greedy. If we have two of them, that would be 128. If we got five of these, that would be 140. We could go for a somewhat natural, unnatural five to two ratio. Wait, five to two is also something terrible. I was thinking of five to three, maybe. Five to three is also not good. Because that will be 192 over there. And then... No. Mm, numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Okay, 64. 28. 56. Double them. 112. Double them again. Ooh, wait a minute. Double them again. Uh, 112 plus another 56. That is... 118, 168. That's nah, still not good. But if we add one more on that, 168, then we get up to 196. Wait a minute. 196 is divisible by, by this one over here. Uh, 64 is three times, uh, or 196 is three times, 192 is three times this. So this could work. What is that? A 6 to... Wait, but if we go with a 6 to 3 ratio... Wait a minute. <laughs> then we're back to the original 2 to 1 ratio. No, wait. I, I think I'm missing one over here. Um, Because this is now 6 times 28. Uh, we could just do 6 times 28 real quick. Mm, here we go. Let's use over U over here real quick. But I think we want 7 times 28. Because 7 times 28 is 100. Yeah, we want 7. It's a 7 to 3 ratio. A 7 to 3 ratio might be fine. There we go. There we go. Only problem, of course, is how do we get seven of these onto map of these? Ooh, projectile damage done. Uh, we need something stupid over here. <laughs> I'm currently putting, like, random researches in here that just take, like, forever. So I don't need to be bothered by it anymore. Um, how far are we with this one? Yeah, yeah do this a couple times. It'll be fine. <laughs> I don't want to be bothered. Here, research this. Um... But we could do something like this. Yeah, let's let's just do. Let's move some things around and see where we end up with. Here we go. You open air. You open air. And then we got these four remaining, and these four need to go into those three. Mm -hmm. If we move you like this, then it will be easier. That one will be way easier because then we can move you over there. You over there. You over there. And you over there. That works. <laughs> that could be a build. Or at least something, something, something like a build. Uh, that is so much Iridium plate going around. <laughs> Did that not miscalculate? Let me just check again. <laughs> uh, now that's fine. That is the amount that we need. All right, all right, all right. How is this one then? Um, okay, that one is also pretty, pretty hungry. But we, we come for you later. Let's start off with you first. Okay, okay, okay. Um... We can definitely move them apart a little bit more. Here we go. Let's rip these real quick. And then we can copy you like two times. There we go. Now they're all equidistant. We can all do a direct connection. It's going to be a direct connection like... Yeah, I guess like this. Like that. Like this. Oh, well, that's going to happen. Here we go. And you go in, you go in, you go in. Here we go. And then we can place this one over there and this one over there. <laughs> just direct connect them. Just push the stuff in. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, we could also, if we just move this up by one. There we go. And then put you over there, you over there, and you over there. We could just pull a belt in the middle over here. Where the ingots go on. And then we can just get the ingots from the belt via an inserter. How many ingots do you need? You need, well, 0.1 per second. So you need 2.8 per second in total. 2.8 times 7. That's about 21. A red belt will be fine. A red belt will be fine. There we go. There we go. 
But we're gonna use the cool inserters. There we go. You over there, you over there, you over there, you over there, you over there. Good. Alright, that will give you all of the stuff that you need. Now we will also need some what's it called again? Some Vulcanite. How much Vulcanite do we need? Uh one per second, I think it was. Yeah, one per second. So at the grade of 16, we're going to need 16 per second, 32, 84. That is a green belt of Vulcanite going down. That is faster than I would think it would be. But this should be fine. We could just put line down like a belt of Vulcanite right over there. And actually, we can stop it there. There we go. Uh, and then just put in a superior long insert over there. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Good. <laughs> Sure, Ingos, Vulcanite, and Ingos, Ingots. Mm, we will definitely be locked by the Vulcanite input. <laughs> Absolutely. The Vulcanite input is going to be insane. We will probably have to increase our Vulcanite output, but this will definitely give us many, many more girders. How high do the girders stack? If we go for the girders over here, there they are, they stack up to 50. So it's about 2,000 per wagon, 8 wagons, 16,000. And we make over here them at the rate of 16, 84, 48, the other way around, 48, and then on top of that, 32%. So basically times four, that will be fine. So we make 64 per second over here, give or take a little. That is one stack per second. Actually, it is 1.3 stacks per second. So every... Four seconds, we fill up five stacks. No, wait. <laughs> every every three seconds. Uh, no, every, every three seconds, we fill up four stacks that way around. And we got 160 stacks uh, divided by four. That would be 30, uh, 90 seconds. It will take 90 seconds to fill up a train. That is pretty fast. I don't think we need to make this too big. I, I mean, if we make this too big, we will have other issues later on. But, but I think we'll be fine over here. Let's put you down real quick over here. Uh, just so that we... There we go. Have this available. Um, can we get this under some kind of nice beacon setup? What well, we could do... We could definitely do something like this. Put you over there. And... Now that's a bit annoying. <laughs> we can't place you over here because then you don't reach him. Mm. Oh, we can place you over here. Ooh. And then... Wait. There you go. Place you over there. And then you over there. We might just move you all the way over there. Yeah, we, we can't really do the half overlap, but... Maybe something like this. Oh, wait. Uh, keep the modules on there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. And then, can we flip this? Oh, we can Maybe do it like this. And this might be fine. <laughs> this might be fine. Let's go with this. And this is going to make all the iridium girders that we need. Now, we're going to make another machine right after this one. Which takes the girders. And if we don't make girders, then we take the same amount and turn that into bearings. Or we could make this machine two times. Uh, like once like this. And once again, where we then make the girders, uh, or we make the bearings. And if we don't, can, if we cannot make any bearings, we just make more girders. Uh, we could also do it, we could do it both ways. It's oof, hmm. We'll figure out a way. We will figure out a way. More importantly is keep in mind we make about sixteen, and then add for the two on top of that, we will definitely make something like twenty-one girders per machine over here. There we go. So that would mean we would need at least an output of a red belt over here. Here we go. And an output of a red belt over there. There we go. And we're just going to assume it's going to be red belt for all of them. Um, that was a little bit too high. There we go. And then the two red belts together will form a green belt. And then the green belt goes out. And comes together with this red belt. And from here on out, it's going to be a purple belt. There we go. There we go. And I mean the purple belt out in terms of... What's it called again? Girders. Yeah, that seems fair. That seems very fair. Here we go. Put you over there. That's your output. You're done. Good. All right. Let's just assume with those numbers, what can we do over here? You do need girders. You need like 
Well, half a girder per second. At a crafting speed of 16, that is 8 girders per second. And you over there, you may, it's a 2 to 1. It is a 2 to 1. So, if we would make this machine over here again, we could place down 3 girder making machines. And the only thing we would need is to make the appropriate amount of plates over here. Which is half the amount over here that we need. So, if we put down 3 machines over here, we would need half the amount of these machines. Which would still be three and a half machines of these. So we could go down with four of them. Let's just take four of them. Four of them will be fine. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then three of these. And this is a more of a classic ratio. Here we go. Then we just go with this over here. It'll be fine. These over here might not be working optimally well performance wise, but that should be fine. Uh, they're not going to be running at 100% performance. They're going to be running at something like 96 or something like that. And I'll be absolutely happy with that. So how about we just try something like this. Here we go, all of you. There we go. And then one, two, three. It's about the same distance over here. Ooh. If we are a little bit creative and careful. And we place you over there. And go all the way down like this. We reach the top machine. Here we go. I did kind of... Oh, I did it again, didn't I? Uh, there we go. That should be fine. That should be fine. Good. If we do it like this, then we should be able to... Maybe get these machines in a little bit more. Okay, put them up one higher. Okay, we can go one lower. There we go. They're all covered by the beacons over here. And we could move some of our girders into these machines. We might just end up... You know what we could do? We could just make this machine times two. And one of them will prioritize on making girders. And the other one will prioritize on making the bearings. And if either of the other one backs up, it just sends more of them to the other machine. That is probably the best way to do it. Let's do it exactly like that. Good, 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 good. Oh, no. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right. Let's connect up these. Turn you around. Now, uh, these are... Are these going the right way? I think they are. Yeah, you go in, you go in, you go in. Now, they're going the correct way. They are going the correct way. Uh, that does mean that we still need some more of the iridium going in the ingots over here. And we need the girders coming around somewhere. And we need duplication. That's the only thing we need. So we can definitely put the iridium like this. And then we just keep on eating off that iridium belt just like this. Uh, we probably also want an output over here for these lovely machines. Now, this over here is probably a little bit too fast for them. Let's check on them how fast we make them. I think it's, yeah, it's, it's one every two. It's one every two. So technically, this is only half speed. Mm, we're going to keep this over here because why not? It's it's the same color as everybody else. But we now do need another input belt. And we could put that input belt over here. I'm, I'm still a bit concerned and curious about the amount of girders we need. Yeah, we need eight girders per second. That's 24 girders per second. That is 30. No, that's 24. It's only 24 girders per second. And we make them at a rate of 48, 96 in total. Wait a minute. Oh, we need more of these then. Ooh. Okay, scratch this idea. You go back to where you were. I think the girder machine can be bigger. Because you eat 24 girders, which is fine. But, uh, yeah, you eat 24 girders, but you over there, you definitely make more girders. Like, one of these over here is actually... Yeah, it's it's, it's even better than that. Uh, 1.5 of these machines make the amount of girders that we need over here. Because this is 16, this is 16, that's 16, we need 24. And we also get productivity bonus on top, but we ignore the productivity bonus. Mostly because we also want to make girders for another project. So, actually, this one over here, 
we can at least double it down. At least. There we go. There we go. Maybe even flip it. There we go. And then rotate it. There we go. And then do something like this and that. And then one, two, three, four. There we go. So that we can place one of you in the middle. Like you over there. And you over there. Good. Good, 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 good. So more iridium ingots come in. The girders come from up there. And we really do not need a lot of girders. Like, like this, this part of here, of this machine over here, can supply this machine over here to make whatever we need. We could double it down one more time. Here we go. And that is a lot of ingots to get eaten. That is so many ingots to get eaten. Good. Sure. Why not? It's a bit excessive, but then again, <laughs> this is Factorio we're talking about. The only thing that's a little bit weird is how do we end up with this? You're not covering him. Wait, are you not aligned? You are aligned. It just looks weird. The only one who's not aligned is you. What the hell? <laughs> All right, move you in. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Then, of course, the only thing we need is an input for all those girders that we meet, uh, meet eat. And I guess we're going to have, like, one over there, one over there, one over there. We can do the same thing over here. Did we make you... Oh, no, place you over there, please. There we go, there we go. And then the same thing over here. And the same thing over there. And we can have a girder belt somewhere around here. We also have to keep in mind that we do need the lubrication pipe going around. And lubrication, we can just turn these around real quick. There we go. And lubrication will be straightforward. Nothing much to think about. Let's start over here. Just connect up the pipes. There will be a train that brings a loop <laughs> by the, the metric buttload. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Because we do have the lubrication machine, five, uh, 4,000, and that thing is just making all the loop that we need. Not quite sure where the loop will be coming from, from the left or from the right, but just do it like this for now, and it'll be fine. That's so much iridium. <laughs> That's so much... That is so much vulcanite as well. Actually, is it? No, it's not. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, wait. No, we only need vulcanite for the girders. We don't need vulcanite for you. Good, 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 good. Sure, let's go with this. Then... Um, hmm. We're gonna do something like this. We have two outputs over here, and we got two outputs over there. One of them will be going into the product to whatever we need to make, and the other one will go down over here where we're gonna need this an input re um, input requirement for these girders over here. I'm also a little bit concerned about. Okay, your input is. Actually, up there. We need to move you down a little bit. We can move you down. No problem. Yeah, move you down by two or something like that. I did kind of cut you off. Sorry about that. Um, there we go. Good. And then we're going to have something like this. And we're going to have something like that. Or maybe we just go up. Uh, we could just go down. There we go. There we go. So let's press you real quick. You over there, you will have an output priority on one side. And you will have it on the other side. There we go. And if either one of them backs up, like the production automatically gets shifts to the other side. And that should be fine. That should be fine. Good. And then we're going to need multiple splitters over here. Like, oof. That's going to be a bit rough. Hmm. That's going to be very, very rough. But let's start over here. You go. And this one actually doesn't need to be this color. We can. What do we need? We need like 8 per second. 8, 16, 24. That's going to be... Well, it's still going to be... We can just go with green over here. And then put it on a red belt. There we go. You go this way. And then... You go all the way to the other side. Hmm... 
Actually, we can go on the ground over there. There we go. That will be you. And then we're going to have the other splitter all the way over here, which will be a green splitter. So there's somewhere over there. Coming up with green belt the other way around, please. There we go. There we go. There we go. Mm, can we can we move this a bit? Oh, we can, can we? Yes, we can. It's going to be a bit lumpy, but... Oh, ghost, please. There we go. And then you will be coming in all the way over here. Good, 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 good. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. And then, of course, you're going to be an output. You're going to be an output. Remove this one. Uh, those are inputs. And then let's just align you with the rest so that it looks kind of nice. It is kind of expensive to use <laughs> purple underground over here. Technically, we would use the other one for the underground. But I'll just go with the purple underground. Here we go. Here we go. And those up there do not get any good. And then the only thing we need to do is capture the output. And that's all over here. Sure. That'll be fine. As for the inputs, um, let's just move you around a little bit. We should maybe also think about... Yeah. We're missing things like power and stuff like that. We never do power in here. So let's make sure that we can make some nice power poles in here. Mm. And if we take a look at this... No, wait, move it. Can we move you up by one? No, no, we cannot. Oh. Well, this will be fine. This will be fine. And then one over there, and one over there. And one over there, and one over there. It, it reaches everything. It does exactly what we need to. And then, very important, the, the most important thing in all of Factorio, labs. <laughs> We cannot, never, ever, ever forget about lamps. If we forget about the lamps, um, no, heresy. Like, straight into the Book of Grudges, and no. <laughs> Get banned for life, or something like that. Um, definitely put in the lamps. We're going to place them over here. For no apparent reason, but that we can place them over there. Um, yeah, they, is that the, did you see the, oh, that was the, 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 yeah, I see what it was. The background. Um, sure. Over here, we do have a bit of an issue with a lamp every other time. We could put, place these lamps on top. There we go. There we go. And then do this, the opposite over here. Good. Always get yourself some lovely lamps. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. There's more lamps over there. We could copy paste this by now, but I do like to place lamps. And <laughs> we're almost done, by the way. Good. And then you over there. You over there. You over there. So we got lamps, we got everything, and the only thing we need is inputs. What do we need as input? Well, we need one station over here for lubrication, we need one station for the iridium ingots, and we need one station for the vulcanite blocks. As for the output, we get two stations. Two. <laughs> one for the girders, and one for the bearings, and then we are done. Good! That will be it for today. Um, next time around, you will see this thing over here finished and standing. You will probably also see it on the thumbnail somewhere with some stuff going through it already. Nevertheless, thank you so much for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel. It's something bloody amazing. And I do enjoy watching this channel grow. Nevertheless, thank you so much for today and have an amazing evening. Until next time, see you around.